Okay, I call this talk the Battle of the Beads. In the silver world, one of the most popular motifs is silver that's beaded. You know, there's a lot of traditional pieces, English, French, Italian, but we Americans also have our beaded silver, most, most of which was, you know, based on European silver. We, I am finding that people like rounded and people like beaded silver. And so the question is, what's the best beaded pattern? Okay, so let's, there aren't that many to start with. So let me sh take you through a few. Okay, here's one by Alvin called Beaded. It's nice beads along the sides, nice rounded pattern, nothing wrong with it. Here's a cute little piece that's Durgan bead. Again, very English looking, traditional. A very popular pattern is Lancaster. When it's shined, when it's polished, the, um, the beads are quite beautiful. But I do think it's taken away by the flowers at the top. You know, it, they detract from the beauty of the beads. Another one is whiting bead. So this one has a nice shell on the top. It's rounded. It's got nice beads. All these patterns, with the exception of Lancaster, are not very popular. It'd be very difficult to make a set out of most of these. One of my favorites is Charles II by d &H. These are really big beads. They, you can really feel them. The shell motif that's with it really goes well with it. I've had customers through the years want sets of this and we have created a number of them. Knives are very difficult in this pattern. It's, a, it's my second favorite bead pattern. And for a, a long time, it was my favorite bead pattern. The number of pieces in this pattern is huge. You can collect it for a very, very long time. I have a collector who's collected it for about 30 years. And we still find things for her. So, okay. But my favorite beaded pattern is Beaded by Jensen. These are really outstanding beads. And there's nothing to detract from the beads. You know, the rest of the piece is plain. Jensen's made this pattern for a good long time. And the shame of it is, is that they don't make the range of pieces that they used to make. And for some reason, probably 30 or 40 years ago, they stopped making this European size large dinner knife, which is one of the most impressive pieces in it. And they stopped making the European size large dinner fork. Um, again, nice and heavy, really big, impressive piece. You know, I love the fish knives. I love everything about this pattern. We just got this set in. It's really special. Each piece fits in its own slot. It was, um, it's got French import marks, and so it was made in Denmark and then imported to France. This is really an outstanding set. And for the, the people who love the beaded patterns, um, this is my favorite. Thank you.